G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel Bonzo Works. I accidentally deleted the start of this video, so I'm just going to show you quickly this tree that I'm going to restyle. It's pretty ugly, but I'll talk about it through when I'm um, styling it up for you guys. So just enjoy the enjoy the view, and um, this is the before shot before we get started working. So hopefully you can see some of the features. It wasn't the best. I just put some wire on it, and I'm about to work on it. So I've wired the pretty much all the main branches on the tree. I've actually just anchored the trunk onto the pot, just, just with a bit of wire because it was just moving around a little bit too much. Uh, what's happened is the dead wood's on one side, so the roots have only formed on the live vein side, which is which is probably, that's why it's causing it to rock a little bit. So I've got to use that into my design, have a think about making sure I remember that the roots are more on this side, just control where the weight is of the tree. Um, <clears throat> it's all wide. Dead, dead wood on this side, but it, I just cleaned that up so you can see a bit more. But let's see how we go about styling the tree. <coughs> now I probably just wanted to lean over slightly this way, so we see a live vein and a bit of a dead, so a bit of bit of both, just to give it some interest. And then I want to try and compact this tree. Let's let's see where we come up with. Now I have got very heavy wire on it, and it has had some bend work before, so that's a good sign. So this is the top. I want to see where that ends up. I'm not sure if that will be where it's going to be, but let's just play around with some stuff. So what I've done by manipulating and twisting around branches and so on, I've been able to set a rough shape. Um, and now I'll go about eliminating things that I don't want. Now I've noticed there's a really long branch here I'm not going to really use. So I'm going to eliminate that branch. Um, I have put a heavy wire on it. So what I tend to do is if I want to use it as a gin, I can, uh, or just cut it right off. So I might, in this case, I'm thinking, I might, let's have a look, see if it would blend in. Probably doesn't need to be there, so I'm going to cut it off. But I'm going to leave a bit of a stub because I have wired it, an, another branch onto it and anchored it on. So let's just eliminate it. Now we'll use it, just use it as a cutting. Everyone asks me about cuttings. It's like I don't treat them anything special. I just put them in, even you can leave the wire on it if you really want. But just I shave it a little bit more on the end. Just shave it down a little, like just, how do I show you this? Just shave it a little bit off the cambium. Just take a bit more off the cambium and pretty much just put it in some soil and off it goes. Um, as long as you keep it in the shade, that's all it needs. Make sure it's not in the sun, otherwise they dry out. So just slowly, just trying to eliminate branches that I don't need. It's a little heavy too at the moment with this small trunk. Um, I need to thin it out a bit. I have a really big heavy branch in here that I'm not sure I'm going to keep um, as well. Let's see how it's been twisted around to create some sort of side branch here. I'm thinking that's probably not needed. I've uh, got a lot of foliage here. Now the top now has come from up here into a side branch. So this is the branch that it is right now. So right in here. I don't think I'm going to keep all of that. I'm going to go keep, or I'll probably have to just look at if I'm going to keep this branch um, and if I can eliminate it. Because it is too much. It just doesn't need to be there kind of thing. So I'm going to try and work on what I need now and what I don't need. So and then I'll put everything in place and we'll see how it looks. So I'm at a point with this tree where I'm contemplating why, uh, trying to tell a story of why this did would happen and try and show that in the tree and explain how it's, how it's come about to be the way it is. Um, what, I've, what I'm going to have to do is I really can't have all this huge foliage on this side when there's some dead wood on this side. I just don't see the value. Like it really throws it out. I mean, I can twist it and convolute it, which I've tried, really push it all the way in still doesn't look right 
Um, so I'm going to gin all this, uh, or gin most of it, and have a bit of a dead wood feature coming out of the tree wide up. Um, also, I've got some of these smaller ones. I was trying to put in place, trying to put in this area. It still doesn't look right. I like the tree more on this side with a bit of foliage this side, trying to create some sort of interest on this side of the tree, something happened to this side of the tree, and try and tell that story. You know, you can't have all this dead wood on here and still healthy on this side. I don't know. You can, but I just want to tell a story, I guess. Um, so that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to unwire. You can see me unwiring it anyway um, to get a better, better look for a tree, better dynamicness, and so on. I will wire the rest of the tree as well, uh, wire it all up, and finish and stylize it. Um, I'm also going to repot it into, if I've got a pot for it, I will put it in a bonsai pot. Um, the only issue, the issue is that it's moving around a bit too much because the roots have only developed on one side of the tree, the live vein. This dead vein, this dead wood has gone down this side of the tree and also there's no roots under that big dead bit. So the roots, the roots are only on this side of the tree. So that's the other bit, reason why I have to probably um, try and repot it into something. And if I've got a pot for it, I will put it in a bonsai pot, otherwise it goes back in a plastic pot of some sort, but I'm just going to go ahead and gin this off. Alright, so here's kind of how the tree ended up, um, just holding it just to give it the position that I want. Um, it's come up really nice, nice little tree now, much better than it was before. Um, a little well, obviously things got to grow and the apex has got to fill out. Uh, but much nicer. I've left the gin on that side, so as you can see, I've twisted it up. I've, I've, I've ginned it and I've twisted it, put it in, put a bit of a bend in it. Um, so now I want to actually try and get it in a probably in a bonsai pot. We'll see how it looks. Because uh, I am going to repot it, I might as well try and get it in a pot. Uh, just I've got a range of a few pots here that I, I want to try out. We'll see what works. If it doesn't work, then I'll put it in a plastic pot. I think it's size-wise, it's ready for a pot. So that's probably why I'm doing it. Um, well, let's have a look. Um, let's try and clear. Let's try and clear the roots. See what the roots look like. All right, let's have a go. Now I tend to try and work my fingers into the soil to try and dislodge the roots rather than going too harsh. Now the good thing is I've left the soil to dry off a bit so it falls off a bit easier when it's a bit drier. So it should be fine. Um, so it's just falling away nicely. Now you can probably see the sphagnum moss still. It's got this sphagnum moss still in there just falling and breaking apart which is good. Uh, let's just get this well done. Now I'll show you the the dead wood's pretty clear now. You can see it quite clearly there. See how it's nice. It's sour. It was a previous old trunk. The live veins on this side. The roots are on this side. So I'm going to try and maybe spread the roots a bit more to stabilize the tree in the future. So you want to try and eliminate any issues now rather than later. So that's my job. I'm trying to also dislodge a lot of the the sphagnum. It's pretty dry too, which is good. So it means I can actually get rid of it quite easy. If it was wet, it'd probably be a bit too sticky. Um, just giving a little, just giving a little comb, and it just falls apart. You probably see the little dust particles go everywhere. Oh, the sphagnum. Now let's look at that. That's an ear layer. There's so much roots. There's some nice heavy roots as well. We've got a few nice heavy ones as well, so that's good. But yeah, it's pretty much dominantly on, you know, this side, this side of the, this side of the pot. So let's see what we can do in terms of repotting. Uh, well, there's a fine amount of roots, so like we can get in a fairly small pot, which is good. You can see some nice heavy roots in here. I'm not going to try and take off too much roots um, just yet. We'll see how I can position and what, what kind of pot I can use to uh, reposition this tree. Now you can wash the roots at this point in time for conifers. I mean, for junipers, don't do it for pines, um, obviously for the mycorrhiza. Um, you don't want to be root pines. So let's let's have a look what pots we've got and some options. Now, if this is a matter of like judging between, you know, deciding between sometimes personal taste, I guess, uh, health of the tree, health of the, you know, the look and feel of the tree, look and feel of the pot. If I go something really shallow, probably a bit too shallow. I was thinking this one is a bit small, but it's deep. 
and then white part of the tree looks better. Kind of look all right in this, I think. But will the roots fit? Probably a bit small. Not too bad. Actually, I don't mind that one. That looks pretty good in that one. We'll come back to that. It looks a bit small, but that's probably too small. I think that's too small. I think that's probably too big. Let's have a look. Probably too big. <clears throat> I think this is too deep. This will work for now, but I think it's too deep. It's too thick and deep. I do like that little one actually. I didn't think I would. Uh, these ones are a bit smaller, but not too bad. I think it's better to have, I need a bit more depth rather than, than, than stick really thin, a bit thin. And this one, I think the same issue, probably a bit too, a bit too thin. It's nice, it's not too bad as well. But I have, a, I have, a, I have another tree up with the eye on this one. I don't mind this one, let's have a look. No, too thin, it's too skinny. I think I, I think I do like this one, I know it's a small one. Is there another one over here? Oh, yeah, there's this one. Have a look. What does this look like? That's pretty good, too. Yeah, I like putting this, but I think it's just too small. <laughs> just a little bit small, I think. I was trying to be a bit uh, heroic and put it in there, but I think it would just be too small. Just a little bit small. In this, it kind of has a bit more room to grow. A bit more room, maybe. Yeah, we'll go with that I think for now, unless I'm not happy when I repot it, then I'll choose the other one. So let's let's go with this one and get it get it looking good. Well, I don't really necessarily have to give some of the roots a trim, but I'm just going to give some of these long, larger ones off. Just take a few of them off, just a bit too long and large, just to reduce a little bit, and then we'll stay with that. So I've just prepped the pot, got some guy with wires in to tie the tree up, got the mesh in, nothing nothing out of the ordinary. The trick is going to be how we layer this, how we put this in, in its spot. And I have my mix ready. All right, there you go, guys. From pretty much a really ugly piece of stock to now a lovely little mini miniature bonsai, in, mini bonsai shohin, almost shohin style, almost shohin size. Uh, in a pot that I think is a little, still a little bit too big. Um, oh, I was so tempted to put it in that little pot, but I think I'll just be cautious now for, for now and just leave it in this little pot. Uh, I'm happy with it. It looks still pretty good with that pot. Um, yeah, I'd like it in the other smaller one, but for now, let's put, leave it in that one and see how it goes over time. Just going to water this tree in. I'll just um, probably raise it up a little bit just to see how nice that is, a bit of a tree. Um, so yeah, I'm reasonably happy with that from where it was so don't don't discount really bad looking stock you know with a bit of wire and imagination you can really create something quite interesting and unique uh, this I won't pretty I pretty much won't touch this for a year now I want it to recover for the synthesize grow the roots um, you know that kind of stuff let it do its thing and then I'll start working on it probably if it's if it's kicked on a lot and really flushed out lots of growth over the summer by summertime I will um, try and reduce Bit of the foliage and work on the pads uh, but for now just let it keep going and do its thing i always do apply now a bit of granular fertilizer on top i use that power feed um, brown granules um, so that's been really well that's gone really well for my trees last year so i'm gonna keep doing that and uh, but all in all that's a nice little shohin from really ugly stock um, so yeah probably probably in the future i'll work on a bit more on this uh this this area deadwood area and just to give it a bit more, bit more appeal, and but that's about it. Lovely little tree now, and hope you guys enjoyed that. And you can transform just about anything if you just had the wire and imagination. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time.